there's a bunch of different GUI file managers that are available on GNU slash Linux. Some of the more common ones are Nautilus and Dolphin, both of which have very polished DUIs and belong to GNOME and KDE respectively. Personally, I prefer to use PCMan FM. It's one of the lightest file managers that I've used so far, at least as far as GUI-based file managers go. The UI is simple, no frills, and really that's the only significant difference between PCMan FM, Thunar, Dolphin, and whichever the dozen or so file managers that I could name. They all pretty much have the same capabilities, but they just have different cosmetic designs. Someone might say that PCMan FM is missing some more obscure features that more bloated file managers have, like a bulk rename functionality, but you could just do that type of stuff with Vim, which functions much better than doing it through the GUI, in my opinion. But we can move files around, we can rename them, uh, we can see information about them by right clicking and then clicking on the properties. We can look at the permissions, see who owns the file, see what group it belongs to. Uh, we can change how this area here looks by clicking on the view, pretty straightforward. And in here we can show hidden files, so this will make any file or folder that starts with a dot visible to us in the directory, just like how in Bash it's hidden by default and you'd have to do LSA to actually see everything. Uh, you can also sort the files and you see that this gives us more sort options than just clicking on the headers in this menu, but you can do that as well. This is typically how I would sort things when I'm browsing around for files in PCMan FM. You can change the folder view mode. So this is how the folders and files within this area here will appear. Uh, so right now I'm using the detailed list view. That's what shows you the name, the description, size modified, all that cool stuff. Um, but you could change this to something like the icon view. I think that's what it is by default. And this is a lot better for selecting stuff because then you can like just do this, highlight a bunch. And you could also do control and then start selecting them individually. Same functionality that most other file managers have. The next option that you can change up here is the path bar. So you can change this from locations to buttons. Um, buttons, I think, is what most file managers, uh, GUI file managers at least that I've used, do. So this is where it just basically makes it where you can click on the parent folder or you can like jump all the way up like this. Now, personally, I don't really like to do this. I much prefer my path bar to give me the actual location. And this is because I like to be able to access the string of the path of where I'm actually viewing because usually if I have a file manager open, I'm gonna be writing a script or um, I might be needing to copy something into GitHub or whatever. But I like to have it like that so I can just copy it. Uh, I don't really find clicking on the button to go to the parent that much helpful because I can just click this and that takes you to the parent. So that functionality is already built in there. And then with this, you can copy the string of your current path. The side pane lets you choose uh, what you want to show over here on the side. So by default, it's showing places, which is basically just bookmarks of well, different places on your machine, like different folders that you'd want to be able to access very quickly. Uh, you could change this to be a directory tree, so that's going to give you a tree-like view of your file system here. So you can see this is the root folder and then everything inside of root, home, and then Kenny, and you just keep on clicking it down and down. You can move this over so that you can see more subfolders as you get further and further down into the tree. And you can also create multiple tabs in PCMan FM. Uh, so that's another feature that pretty much all file managers have, at least all the file managers in Linux. 
I can't say the same for Windows because explorer.exe does not have multiple tabs that you can use. You'd think Microsoft would patch that in by now. You'd think that billions of dollars and thousands of devs all over the world, they'd get the bright idea to copy Linux like they do so frequently and add tabs into their file manager. Uh, but yeah, PC Man FM, it's my recommendation for a GUI file manager. It has the fastest performance in my experience. Uh, it's got less lag and crashing. As long as you're able to live without all that fancy aesthetic icons that you'd get with Dolphin. Um, honestly, that's the reason why Dolphin crashes so much in my experience. Same thing with the rest of the KDE stuff. I mean, I like how it looks, but when you have a really heavy GUI like that, things just tend to go wrong. And there's one other file manager that I do want to show you guys. So this is Space FM. You can see it pretty much looks just the same as PC Man FM, except you can actually get a split panel view. So if I click on this dot up here, you see that I get another panel that's open here, and this I can actually go into a different folder within my system. So this is really convenient if you want to move files between two or more locations, like if you're uh, arranging files across multiple drives or if you're going to be copying something from an SSH location, like you could be you know, SSH'd into a remote server over here and be copying files back and forth between your local file system and that server. So this is Space FM. You should check them both out, Space FM and PC Man FM. Both packages are available in most Linux repositories. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. Subscribe for more and make sure to share it with others.